Ko Hangareo teacher, Bobette Papune Turitahi, was born not far from Omarumutu Marae. The tenth of 15 children, she was the last to be born at home. Born and bred on this marae. I've got five siblings after me and they all had to be uh, taken, mum had to be taken into town to the new maternity uh, home that was built in, in Oportiki. Money was very hard to come by in those days. How we managed to survive on our little farmlet, I, I will never know. But fortunately for us, our, all our parents, our mums were all good bakers. You know, they were, they were, they were hard workers. They were, they were everything in one. When the cream check came, it had to be divided up amongst the family. Had to make the, the kai go maybe a month, two weeks, maybe a month. And um, that's where we found our, 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 all our mums were able to make a, um, a quarter of a mutton last. So many, you got a, a heap of meals out of a quarter of a mutton, you know, and uh, we never starved in those days. We never went without, because we had big paddocks of, uh, of um, kumara, riwai, all the, all the veggies you can think of, there was just paddocks of them. And, and as kids, we would, have, we would go out into the paddocks and help um, harvest the kai that was brought in. We'd see our, our old people bring kai down to the marae if there was uh, um, a kaupapa here, you know. We know the, you hardly saw a koha being put down on, on, the, on the marae. It was kai. The kai was brought from, the, from the, every household in the, in, the, in, the, in the valley here. In those days, there were big families, and every family helped one another. Um, it was the same for um, all the farm work. If there was haymaking at one, at one, um, one homestead, then you'd see the the farm, you know, the farmer coming down to help. And and it, it, those were great days for us. It was like a big fucking tanga. You, you know, you got to know all your cousins and and all the other rallies uh, that you hadn't seen for for a long, long time. You knew who the other families were. You knew where you belonged. You knew where you came from. Mm. We grew up with the reo around us, although my, my parents brought myself and, and my brothers and sisters up in uh, Te Reo Pākehā. Mm. Because at that time, in those days, she didn't think that there was a, there was a use for the reo Māori out in the workplace. Mm. Uh, she'd think differently now she was here. <laughs> yeah. So we were brought up, um, brought up in the Pākehā in the Park Air world, yeah. So I sp- I'm fortunate, a lot of us are fortunate we can speak both languages. Mm, mm. Uh, they spoke Māori. They always, mum and dad always spoke Māori to one another and to the old, uh, uh, an older sister and three older brothers. And they, they conversed in, in Te Reo, but not us younger ones, yeah. We only heard it when we were doing something wrong. <laughs> Yeah, Sandra Lee was brought up in Kuangareo, she's a Kuangareo baby. Mm. And I would say that a lot of them have come away from these, these um, wānanga uh, knowing that if you, if you have that manakitanga, that tiakitanga, that uh, knowing within you, then you're able to go out there in, 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 in amongst people and know how to walk uh, with other people without feeling uncomfortable. Yeah, it, it does something for you. It's just like me sitting in this in this house now. I can feel a wairua of my tipuna in it, within me, yeah. And 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 that wairua within me is make is is allowing me to free, speak freely. And I, and I'm not really a um, <laughs> I'm not really a speaker. I'm a listener. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. It's 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 a marvelous feeling to 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 have to have to feel within you. Yeah, it is. It is. And uh, it'll take you wherever you want to go in the world, whatever you, whatever your ambition, whatever ambitions you have, it it would take you there. I think Mum, I think she would be quite pleased with me to know that um, I've taken up a role on the marae that she she, in her day, she never thought would happen, you know. E tu Fano celebrates the strength and power of Fano. E tu Fano. Te mana kaha o te whānau.